Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, our plane crashed. Nuts. Won't fly anymore, but... What? what? You, you're kidding me, right, Cloud? How are you going to use a plane as a boat? It's going to sink in the water. Sure, why not? Don't even argue with the guy. What are you going to do now, Sid? You were with the Shinra before? Well, I guess, sort of. Oh, so they are married. Well, there you go. Oh, no. They're not. Okay. Well, I guess they're kind of together, sort of. Okay, well, there you go. Now they explained it. Thanks a lot, game. We're going to go after Sephiroth and... We could have killed Rufus a dozen times by now, but, you know, man's got to have his priorities. You want to go after Rufus with us, too? I mean, we did name you, after all. Sure! Why not? Sign me up! Got a bit of a bad attitude, but, well, you take all the help you can get. Numb skulls. <laughs> How does Sid know this? I mean, what, was he just talking to Rufus and was, like, telling him his evil schemes? Looks like they're going to the Temple of the Ancients. Sounds ominous. Well, what? You mean we've been going the wrong direction for this entire game? Thanks a lot, Squaresoft, for wasting half the game for me. Yeah, something about that name bothers me, too. Can't quite put my finger on it. Yay! We have access to the tiny Bronco now. We can hover on water. Couldn't we get a hovercraft to go over water? Like Final Fantasy IV? No. Oh, well, this is just as useful. I, I don't know how it works, but... Don't question physics in a Final Fantasy game. Not a good idea. It causes aneurysms. Anyway, now we have access to a lot more places over the world. We can head over to this continent, where we can eventually get to the village of Wutai. Don't want to go there quite yet, but we will eventually. There's a side quest we can do there. We can also head to the northern continent there, to the Bone Village, where there's a lot of bones. We could also buy rune armlets there. They have double uh, AP growth for any materia you equip on it, so that can be pretty useful if you want to go there. You could also get another summon materia there, but the storyline will tell us to go there eventually anyway. I want to head here first, though. Now, we could have come here earlier in the game, but no one would have been here, so... But now he is here. Because apparently someone wanted to buy the keystone from him. What is a keystone, anyway? Unlocks an old temple. Could it be an ancient temple? Like the Temple of the Ancients? Do you know where it is? Oh, it's just a legend. But that's what this entire game is based on. Remember the standard rule of role playing games, viewers. All legends are 100% accurate. All rumors are entirely factual. All prophecies will come true. And not just someday, but almost immediately. So he already sold the keystone. Could it be Sephiroth? I don't know if he'd have any money, but... Oh, no, it was Dio. Back at the gold saucer. He was gonna put it in a museum. It'll be safe there. No, no, we should uh, actually go after him. So we'll have to go to the gold saucer pretty shortly. Do you know where the temple is? Ultimate destruction magic. That's great, but... Could you tell us where the temple is? No, he's not gonna tell us where it is. Great, thanks a lot. Let's change the subject now. We need to get materials to make some weapons. And he needs some mithril. Do we have any mithril? Yes, we do! From the old man on the continent by Fort Condor. So now we can take an item from him, and I'm just going to go for the one that I really want, if I can open it. 
the Great Gospel. That is the level four limit break for Eris. Yay! It's essentially a combination of her two level three limit breaks. It restores all your HP. I think it restores all your MP too, if I'm not mistaken. And it inflicts Peerless on everyone, which is essentially it makes you invincible, kind of like Sephiroth and the flashback scene there. Okay, well, I've done everything that I want to do here. Uh, I also want to take some time to fight the battle at Fort Condor. We can fight another one there, and we should do that before we go to the Gold Saucer. So I'm going to take care of that, but then I'm just going to meet you at the Gold Saucer anyway. So I will see you there. Okay, I've made it to the Gold Saucer and the Battle Square where Dio's showroom is. We're going to have to fight in the Battle Square there again. I'll just off-screen that since I showed it in one of the bonus episodes and uh, the appendices section for this Let's Play series. Here's what I got equipped on Cloud though. Counterattack, long range, restore, enemy skill, and I don't think I'll use them, but maybe Chocomog, Titan, whatever. Doesn't especially matter. Oh, yeah, and uh, put Cloud in the back row since he has the long range materia. That's kind of the whole point. Ah, oh, there it is. Let's just take it then. Uh oh. Okay, we got caught. No, I, I wasn't going to touch it, man. No. No, he's not going to throw us in jail again. Yeah, can I borrow your most prized possession? He's not going to rent it to us, but he's just going to give it to us on one condition. We have to entertain him. Where? At the battle arena. Okay, well, let's do it then. Yay, I made it through the battle square. And it wasn't too easy, but I got hit with mini like five times. But fortunately, I had the white cape to quit, so I was able to handle it. So, all right, well, we got the keystone and some bonus items parting gifts, so let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Just thought I should cut out that backtracking. Oh, what's this lady doing here? Out of order? Even in the future, nothing works. So now we're gonna get held hostage here? Couldn't we just, like, jump off with some parachutes and glide our way across the desert or something? That'd be cool if they had a hang gliding mini game, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, Kitsit used to work here, I remember. Well, he must have some connections back at the hotel. Well, let's take a break there then. Can't save the world without a wink of sleep. Okay, now I'm going to go through the dialogue pretty fast here because we're a little short on time. I want to get all this into the episode. And basically, they're just going to recap the entire story here. So, if you really want to read it, pause the video. So yeah, we're going after Sephiroth. You see, this is how the game went. Have you seen a man in a black cape? No, he went this way. Have you seen a man in a black cape? No, he went this way. And so on and so forth. I mean, I like the character development and all, but the progression of the events in the game just didn't quite do it for me in the first half of the game. You know, it was like, oh, here's a town where this guy was from. Here's a town where this guy was from. It has nothing to do with advancing the plot, it's just the character development. And the character development is fine, I have no problem with that. But, you know, it would have been nicer if they did more of a plot progression sort of thing instead of character development. Oh, Sephiroth's not here. More character development. Oh, Sephiroth's not here. I, I wish they would have done more with that. But now the game's going to pick up the pace. So. And we've been talking about men in black capes with materia or some black materia. How, how does he even know anything about that? I mean, I don't recall talking to someone who mentioned a black materia. I mean, there was that guy who mentioned that ultimate destructive magic, but how does that have anything to do with the materia? We don't know anything about that yet. Or at least I don't think we should know. Yeah, because we haven't heard about it yet. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Red does have that number 13 tattoo on him, doesn't he? Well, that's okay, Red. You're not going to go mad because you already are. Be strong, Red. But I can't. But thou must. Yeah, let's go back to our rooms. Well, this looks like a good place to stop, apparently. Sid's already asleep. There's only one thing left we can do here. What will it be? And who will I be doing it with? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!